Hey guys, DM Philosopher here, Matt's the name, just going to go over my latest pack here. So what we've got is we've got a battle mat for the Cave of the Spider Queen. Uh, so it's quite a nasty little encounter space uh, that uh, your PCs can deal with when they're underground. Uh, so this is the Dark Time Gridded map. Uh, we've got an entrance by here to the left and to the right. Um, and we've got a couple of uh, rocky platforms in the cavern, as well as a few very small ledges along the sides. Um, all of the, the, the vacant space is filled with spider webs. Uh, now that's, uh, the spider webs are hovering over an indeterminable distance or height, um, so it can be as deep as you want it to be uh, but nevertheless you know the spider webs uh, create an obstacle um, whether you've got to climb or uh, over or through them to get to the next platform um, obviously spiders love spider webs so that's uh, the, the, the first main obstacle uh, but then the, you've just got the stickiness the uh, the climbability um, maneuvering within that space and so on like that um, in the point of view shots you can see that the webs go from floor uh, from from the ceiling all the way down so it's uh, flying creatures don't have much of an advantage here if they get caught up in the sticky webs of these uh, spider webs um, so anyway let's uh, jump in that's the dark time gridded map there's the dark uh, gridless map the light time gridded map and the light gridless map um, so you've got uh, plenty of variety there the gridless maps uh, work very well with uh, vtt's uh, roll 20 and so on like that because um, you, know, you can put in your own grid and you can change the scale of it as well um, so if you zoom right in you can see that the detail is maintained so you could operate on this on a much larger scale if you really wanted to um, and uh, or you could keep the scale that I've got here and um, you can see that there's definitely a lot of space for, for for, for encounters with um, drow striders or whatever it is you want them to be in here. Um, so these are the point of view shots here. So we step through the, the situation. You can see that the spider webs go all the way to the ceiling. Um, this, these are the dark uh, point of view shots, but you can have a look at the space. Uh, these are really good for players to be able to get a sense of how things are laid out, um, distances, heights, and so on like that, which often you can't convey with a two-dimensional map. Um, and here it is uh, sort of in one of the middle platforms. And here's another one of the middle platforms. And then we got the, the end uh, of the cavern. So this is the right side of, of the map. Um, and we get that and then we get a couple of isometric views so, so looking down on the exits and the two middle platforms and then we come to the the light version so you can use uh, the dark uh, point of view shots for characters with dark vision or just to keep the atmosphere and the mood um, going or you can use the light uh, point of view shots for detail um, or for characters with dark vision or um, just because there's some sort of detail that you wish to convey accurately um, so definitely this is a good encounter space it's really fitting with uh, under dark encounters and the like um, so yeah, the, the Cave of the Spider Queen is, is, is a good one and it goes along with many of my other sort of uh, themed caves and uh, tunnels and the like as well. Uh, so you can find that on RPG Now um, and I'll post a link to that underneath my YouTube clip and I hope it really expands your gameplay. Um, so thanks for listening and happy gaming people.